Pulling out the coupe in the lot. Water for a 12 for a squat. Pulling all the bells out the box. Just hit a lick with the box. What's up guys, so I'm here at the field. I'm gonna be testing out the player GPS tracking device right here. So all you do uh, when you first start using it, what you wanna do is it'll start recording and tracking your data immediately once you put it in into this pouch right here. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that you want this little logo thing to be pointing down towards the vest or it won't track your data. So making sure you put it this way put it down and here it should light up signifying it works I'll show you real quick so I don't know if you guys can see but it's lighting up a little bit so it's flashing now so signifying that it has started so once you have you're ready to set and ready to train so you just put it on just like this you can put it on top of your shirt put it under whatever you feel more comfortable with I like to just put it on top and uh, after that you just go work hard run as much as you can and uh, at the end of the training session I'll show you what data it tracks how to sync that session and everything else so I'll see you guys in the next clip Ball. 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 What's up guys, so we just finished training out here on this beautiful Friday morning and I was wearing the player as I said before and for you to sync your data all you have to do is the moment you take the moment you take this little pod out its pouch it automatically stops so just like this you take it out boom Sh sessions over then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go onto your smartphone you're gonna open up the player app just like that so you're gonna go to the player app it's gonna say one new session found you're gonna press sync session and it's gonna be syncing in progress so you want your uh, you want your pod to be as close as possible to your phone it's gonna sync it and then I'll get back to you once it's completely synced uh, so it's at 99% it's almost done syncing and it should be done any second uh, so then it says sync complete you're gonna go to the calendar you're gonna press add details and then you're just gonna answer some questions because it wants to know so it's gonna ask what type of session was it let us know so it's either a match or training so I select training press continue it's gonna tell you what time did you start you're gonna see it says 70, 726 and the, yes that's what time I started at how long was the session 140 minutes yes it was so press continue next it's gonna show you a map uh, so if you've done it before it's gonna show you like the similar distance so it's gonna show me the field of where I was training at you you can like pinch and select where it is it doesn't have to be perfect once you do that you press continue and then it's gonna ask you when is your next match if since I'm in quarantine my seasons canceled I do not have any upcoming matches so no game scheduled uh, I do then it asks you when is your next training session my next training session will be tomorrow the 20th so I'll press continue
So once it done, finishes that, it's gonna load, and it's gonna after after you put all that information, you're gonna pre it's gonna say session saved. Session has been set up successfully. Then you're gonna press continue, and then it's gonna give you your stats. It's gonna say sprint distance 148 meters, total distance 4.4.59. Top speed 14.9 miles per hour. Power, you can go to more details. So it's gonna say distance. You can go right there. Top, top. There's top speed, power, sprint distance. And if you scroll down, it gives you different. It shows you like where your top power was, your where your sprint distance was, like direction where and the, on the field where you, was your top speed and it's going to show you a heat map of the side you're mostly on so i did a lot of crossing and finishing today so i was around this position but one thing i would like to say is like i really like this but i wish the heart monitor came with this i think it would be super beneficial knowing uh, uh your heart rate knowing uh making sure that you're training in that like nice heart rate zone making sure you're not pushing yourself too hard for each session but I do like how it tracks your distance. I think it's super. I think it's really nice that the GPS tracks your distance because I think it's really important that the players train the way they play. They need to, you know, run the same amount they do in training, the same that they do in the game. Because if you're not training, if you're not running enough in training, you might, you most likely will get hurt. Uh, if they added a heart rate monitor. If they could also add more features of like not just being able to train at the field but maybe you could wear this and maybe go for a run or you know go at the gym you can wear this I feel like that'd be more versatile but other than that I think this is a great product I like how you put it on your back it's easy to charge and uh, battery life is good I mean for the price 299 it's pretty good but I know they have another feature using the player app using your Apple watch so I, don't, I haven't tried the Apple Watch feature, but the Apple Watch has a heart rate monitor, but I do not know if it tracks top speed like the GPS on this does. But, you know, I will, I think I might invest in one of these. I don't know if I'm going to invest in the player one or I'm going to try out the stat sport. But, you know, I think this is, if you're trying to, you know, take your training to the next level and you really want to track and see improvement, I think having this or tracking your distance is very, very crucial if you want to, you know, really pinpoint making sure that you're you know you're running enough in training and you know it's it's really cool i think it's another another great feature is seeing your top speed i think it could be something that you can see you know you could work towards you know trying to get faster you know improve your sprint speed but overall i think this is a great product so player uh thank you for um a well-designed product so hopefully you know more soccer players that we can advance in this product but thank you, Eric, for letting me borrow this, and I'll see catch you guys later.